All right, without further ado, we're about to get started here with game number one between Ontario Tech University and St. Clair College. Neither team going to go for anything funny, it looks like, in this occasion. The Ontario Tech squad basically setting up the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, St. Clair moving as a unit. A full death ball of sorts. Which, of course, can be extremely critical if Apex would have able to uh, like pick somebody off. But with everybody being relatively safe... It isn't going to be the case. I say that, but we do have a bit of a late ward from uh, Akali and Atiz up in the top side of the St. Clair jungle. With both junglers starting at red buff, planning phase gets underway. Akali going to clean up his buff, and it should, like looking at the uh, this mid lane, match up here. I feel like it's going to be rather passive in theory. Vagar could outrange the Rumble with most like most of his abilities, but granted Rumble is going to be able to push the heck out of that thing if he really wants to. And then I feel like Caitlyn, Caitlyn Morg would be able to poke out a, a Kai'Sa Thresh lane, but not 100% certain on that one. So especially since Rumble's got the shield, even when uh, Young Falcon does try to poke out a lamb, he's just going to pop that shield and get out of there scot-free. So no mid laners are actually taking anything, like very much damage. A little bit going over to Young Falcon there as he goes away from his minion line, allowing him to get smoked by the third ability of Rumble. Yeah, every time uh, Young Falcon goes outside of his minion line, he just keeps getting tagged over and over again by the the Rumble E. So, so far, so good there for a lamb. He's going to try and uh, shove this down. But Falcon's going to try and uh, answer with a little bit of aggression, but actually, Nakutaika coming in for the gank. The flash is burning, but so does the junglers. They're going to get some damage on top of them. Take about three quarters of his health bar, but... Everybody is going to be able to walk away safely in this occasion. Now, of course, a lamb's got to deal with having no flash at all. And granted, uh, Young Falcon still has his. So if he gets a little bit uh, antsy at level 6, he very well could probably try to go for an aggressive move. But Rumble is a little tanky, like I was mentioning before. So might not be... Anything to worry about, actually. Young Falcon pushes, pushes in, and he is going to go back for some initial items. Picking up a little bit of additional AP, it looks like. Now, across the board, for the most part here, St. Clair is behind in terms of... Uh, their minion kills, their last hitting. Especially in that top line where Darius, even though he takes a little bit of damage, he's just been able to constantly lifesteal it back up. But that's probably going to be the name of the game here for St. Clair is lose early and then just try to scale the heck out of the late game. Their champions overall do a much better job of that. But that being said, the, uh, the team composition that we're seeing here from... Uh, Ontario Tech isn't a pure early game. And that's actually some huge damage coming down from the side of Mofat and Linam down in the bot lane. That's going to force the flash out of Apex Snipe after he takes a pretty prolonged combo from the bot lane duo. Everything from Morgana binds to Caitlyn traps. Coming in clutch there. Just adds so much extra damage. 
Next Titan gonna face tank, or no, Alliance is gonna get face tanked right into this. There is the stun, gets a ton of damage down. Akali is right there. If Rumble can hang on, he's not going to. It's gonna be Next Titan getting that first kill, but Akali gonna try and even things up. Not quite, it's gonna be one for one. But Akali's down to next to no HP. Young Falcon just needs one more shot. He does have flash, he's going to chase it. He hits the Q and he's gonna get the two for one. Nice little engage for St. Clair and huge for, for the Young Falcon. Yeah, any lead the Vigar can get to make him just more of a one-shot death machine is just absolutely fantastic for St. Clair College. So for him to get the assist plus the kill is fantastic. Apex Snipe going for the ward, but it's actually going to put himself in a really rough position. Going to try and pick up some uh, free healing from those fruits and get back to safety. Okay, it. Alam gets caught by the hook, but there's nobody there to follow up and that's actually a pretty sick binding there from Lenon. He's got Blin in a really rough spot. Mofag gonna be able to smoke him down. Nicely done there from the bot lane duo of Ontario Tech University. Apex trying to get cute with these hooks, see if he can steal himself a scuttle, but he's still level four. And slowly but surely Ontario Tech is kind of building themselves a bit of a lead here in terms of experience and gold. It's only about 300 across the team so far, but the experience and the last hitting ability has been telling. The only one keeping even is jungling and the mid lane. And with the first dragon going down, just extending the lead even more, plus getting that buff on top of it. So nicely done so far for Ontario Tech. Of course, Ontario Tech bot lane has shown, like, one of those bindings hit, you're going to be eating so much damage just from the prolonged um, combo with the Caitlyn traps and whatnot, plus the Q. Just does so much damage. At least with the bot lane backing now, this is finally Blin and Apex's chances. Like, push up a little bit or try to catch up on CS. Lord touch me, definitely having a hard time up here in this top lane. He could poke all he wants, but it's just going to get healed up as soon as uh, his Q's back up on cooldown. Now there is about quarter HP. These minions are pushing. Going to force Lord touch me out of the tower. And I could take in finding the flag and drag combo onto a lamb. I don't think he's going to go too heavily in into this. They're going to pop the stun, but not going to make it smart. And they're going to just pull back, get the damage, and go. Not uh, opting to die of the turret or doing anything too crazy there. Okay, so Nekatai can trying to take the backdoor gank, but the ward does spot him. Keelan actually going to try and challenge him a little bit, but it's good. Nekatai can going to take that Jarvan through the dragon pit and get himself safely out of dodge. With about a thousand gold lead now for Ontario Tech University. The only lane currently going in the favor of St. Clair is the mid lane just barely. But it's not by much. Everything else has been pretty well all Ontario Tech University, but like I was mentioning before, the team comps themselves do actually kind of line themselves over for that. And Apex is getting extremely aggressive, just pops the ulti and goes. They're going to get the hook onto the Morgana. They're trading a lot of damage, but it's going to be Apex Snipe going down first, and Blin is not going to be able to find the kill onto Lanoon. Or Lanam, rather. You can, you can tell I was playing a little Pokemon earlier. Whoops. But, so Blin is able to not... Uh, Finish that off, he did blow flash and everything. Saints just went so aggressive yet could not finalize the kill. 
Of course, the kill, I believe, did go over to Caitlyn as well. So even more gold for her to get that Infinity Edge nice and quick. Yeah, definitely looking good for Mofat. Okay, Apex going for it again. He flashes forward. Just... I'm going to call that one the warning shot. Definition of insanity, but anyway. Same spot lane, kind of tied under the turret here once again. Rift Herald going over to New Side of Kali, going to be able to finish that off. He's actually right there in the top lane. This is going to be a little rough for Luke Touch Me as the Rift Herald comes crashing through with. <laughs> he's surrounded by Kali's Kazakhs as well, and it teases Darius, but. They are spotted out. Everybody knows what's up. Back to Tyken going to come follow up. He flags and drags. Smashes down right into the center of everybody. But he's going to be the first one going down from the dunk of Darius. And he's still barely hanging on. But Lord Touch Me finally going to secure that kill as Young Falcon comes up to help supply some damage with that ultimate and the stun. So at least going to even it up kill-wise. But after that, Young Falcon forced to use his teleport onto that center turret because Rumble was just constantly pounding away at it. Is the punishment, of course, if you do try to help your other lanes. Your turret very well could just start getting smashed on. Yeah, laning phase starting to get a little bit more scattered here, it looks like, as uh, Ontario Tech slowly but surely looking to get more closer and closer towards that uh, that dragon, as I believe it is just spawning up shortly. Kazakh's in a position to try and solo it once again. Oh, it's he's right there, and he's going to find Akataiken trying to get his red buff. He's got him down to half HP already in the Rumble ulti to cut things off. He doesn't have his ult just yet, but does not need it. It's he is going to sneak and take down Nakataigan. While Kha'Zix gets the dragon and Moffat gets the turret. So, so much gold just went into the favor of Ontario Tech University. It's not even funny. But Nom actually finds the... The, uh, the binding there onto Young Falcon as well. Apex Knife going to try and get aggressive, and it's going to go in, in their favor. Apex does get the kill onto Lanam. Can they finish off a lamb, though? That's a good flay. Looking for one more. Not going to quite find it. Almost find himself double, but Mofat is also there for backup. Skirmish here in the top lane, though. Lord Touch Me getting this pretty close. Does get the shutdown onto a T. So some good gold to going in the favor of St. Clair. Great one they needed at most, to be honest, as so much went out of their favor in that last little section. Young Falcon almost going down, and the ace in the hole was almost there. Huge flash there for Mofat, taken down. Apex Snipe as he does get caught up in the trap, avoiding the hook with that flash. So, Caitlyn looking scary. Mofat looking very scary in this case here. St. Clair just in a position where they just got to slow the bleeding a little bit because, like we had mentioned before, they're going to be fantastic the later this game goes on. But just how little can they give up in the meantime? Lord Touch Me actually in a pretty rough spot. He's actually got him pretty low. He's going to try to duel it out, but Akali going to take him down with less than a quarter HP. And that's going to be actually Lord Touch Me's first death in this game. Apex and Hakataiken both here to try and defend this turret as it is just about to go down. But we also have Lanon right there. It's going to flash ulti right into the middle of him. Apex is in no man's land at this point, especially point blank with the Kazakhs and Darius. That's going to be a dead thresh, unfortunately, for St. Clair. In the meantime, that rumble nearly got popped. <laughs> Nicely done from Falcon, but can he finish it? That is the question. I am going to overheat to get himself out of dodge. 
And he's going to get away with his life as Ontario Tech University managed to swing themselves like a kill in two turrets for absolutely nothing benefiting the side of St. Clair College. Nagataigan diving in, but nobody's there to follow up. He gets popped before the next member is even close. Lord Touch Me is going to go down as well. The Rumble Alt going to just cut off any sort of secondary engagement. Ace in the hole going to get blocked by Apex Snipe. But Akali, even with next no HP, is going to go for it. The Dunks are lining up here for a tease. And he's going to get almost everybody. Falcon going to bleed out. And that's going to be everybody down for St. Clair College. A fantastic showing here from Ontario Tech University. And if they can actually manage to get themselves a Nexus turret, that would be the icing on the cake here. And they're going to... Okay, so they're going to play it safe. They're going to run away. There's a lot of low health bars on the side of Ontario Tech. And some objectives will probably be on the way up momentarily. Only 16 minutes into this game, and... I was mentioning stopping the bleeding, but it looks like it's been a wound left unattended if you get picked at. So it's looking a little rough here for St. Clair. Ontario Tech did exactly what they needed to do. Of course, make that the earlier game, the early game comp, the pick comp that they were going for work in fantastic fashion getting so many kills. I know Darius is loaded right now. A tease with seven kills at the moment. Caitlyn still flawless. Moffat at 2-0-5. Oh, and then just overall better communication from the side of Ontario Tech in that last engagement that we did see. It was a little rough for St. Clair, but actually hang on a moment. It's going to be like touch me popping the alt to just keep himself alive. Batakali being sneaky on that Kazakhs. Yeah, in that last engagement, we saw that Akataiken dove in. Nobody followed up, but there's a solid hook onto... Uh, it's going to be a T, so that's the big damage dealer. The one with all the kills going down and all that gold is actually going to go to Nakataiken. As this mid turret just slowly but surely starts to get whittled down. They're going to try and save it again. Nakataiken diving in. The hook does land, but Moffat's going to get the kill onto him before anything else happens going to be Blin finding a lamb also. They're going to trade this out one for one. Lots of low HP bars here for St. Clair College. They're going to all try to back away, but in the meantime, the college is like, you guys can have your fun in the mid lane. I'm just going to beat on this turret, get the gold for it. Ace in the hole coming out actually from Moffat, but going to get blocked by Apex Snipe. That bot lane turret did end up going down, so so much cold. So this lead is just getting pretty rough right now. I mean, I think we've seen crazier comebacks, but it's definitely, definitely a stretch. It's definitely difficult here for St. Clair College to come back from this. 18 of, or 14 to 8 kills isn't necessarily bad, but it's everything else that's been going in the favor of Ontario Tech University. That's just been building this gold lead more and more as time goes on. Even this engagement, I could take actually going to go for this. He's going to get himself stuck up, but the rest of the Sinclair team is coming here. Can they save him? They are going to get him out of there with just a sliver of HP. Lenom got popped as long as Lord Touch Me can get it one more hit. It's actually going to be Blin getting that, so even better for the side of St. Clair College. Two unanswered kills. It's little things like these that very well could get St. Clair back into the swing of things. But we do have another turret going down. Where did that happen? I think that's the mid lane turret that did eventually get taken out. So they at least answer with that. Like this gold lead was borderline. Uh, 10k before that fight happened, and now we're at about 7, so... If we keep seeing plays like that from Ontario Tech getting a little bit over-aggressive in the jungle of St. Clair College, then it very well could turn its way back around, but... It's... Highly unlikely, to say the least. But you never know, you gotta keep playing it out, you gotta keep trying your best right until the Nexus falls. A 
And St. Clair knows Baron time is just about to now. They're going to try and get as much vision around there as they possibly can. And Lanam knows they did just have this duel over this ward, so they're going to take it out while also setting up their own vision. Now that'll combo for the storm here for for St. Clair. A brief moment to finally clear out their lanes. Try to farm up at least a tiny little bit. And as we just heard the announcer say, the inhibitor is just about ready to respawn on that top side. So they have at least held off that lane long enough to the point where that turret didn't actually go down in or that, that left Nexus turret did not fall, so. Best case scenario, I suppose, considering the situation here for St. Clair College. That's a solid stun, does get a big chunk off of Akali, but didn't find the ulti or anything like that. That ward would have seen Darius hop into the, the Baron pits. So I'm sure St. Clair is definitely aware, definitely worried about the possibility of them going for it. And sure enough, they are gonna go for it, but I know Young Falcon and Lord Touchme are all the way on the other side of the map, but luckily this this Baron's taking a little bit longer for them to take down than expected to the point where they're probably going to have to pull off of it. Lord Touchme is going to get caught by the missiles, but it's going to get away scot-free for the most part. And it does in fact force Ontario Tech University to get away from that Baron pit and think of something different for now. Leaps himself away back to his teammates. Akali safe for the time being. And it looks like Young Falcon and Akatai can looking to go on the aggressive if Rumble was not careful. And sure enough, I am going to run for his life once those minions did go down. So the Saints could not pick at another example of uh, overextension. All is quiet on on the rift as of right now. Akatai can go to find a tease, but sees that his jungle camp has been messed with. That was the headshot coming out from Malphite just taking a huge chunk off of Akatai. Can. Any little damage that they can get onto the jungler when it comes to Baron time is critical. And sure enough, right as he goes back, they do start this Baron. So with the smite being so far away, the likelihood of this going into St. Clair's hands is so limited right now. And Apex goes for the hook. They, of course, they know it's happening, but there's nobody who could actually properly challenge it with 3,000 health left on the Baron. Somehow, Ontario is actually getting rather uh, hesitant with this. And now Nakataiken is back if he wants to try and smite steal. He's going to go for it. Cataclysm's in. He's going to try and focus down Akali, who does have the smite. But Nakataiken barely staying alive somehow is using the stopwatch in the pits, but now that it is gone, it is going to probably go over to the side of Ontario Tech. Blin does walk right into a tease, and that Baron is going to go over to the execution from Akali. So this is pretty well worst case scenario here for St. Clair as we've lost three members of the squad, lost the Baron. We're probably going to lose Dragon if they do end up deciding to go for it. And it's only going to be Lord Touch Me there to defend with Young Falcon there for the wave clear. And sure enough, there it is. There's been so many blue drakes right now in this game too, so... Like, mana for days, essentially. The name of the game. And this one. Especially on top of a blue buff. Oh dear. Flex on it. All right, all St. Clair members up and ready to try and defend the Baron buffed push here of Ontario Tech. Moffat ready with the red buff, of course. When it comes to team fight time, I do believe getting that red buff onto that AD carry is just 
just that much nicer. So you might as well when you do have the opportunity. Slowly but surely, moving up this mid lane. And Falcon, of course, with the AoE wave clear, is going to be able to at least hold it off temporarily. The team's going to be split pushing the bot lane as well as all this is happening. So two mid currently with a tease down by. And then Lanam's joining the fight and Akali is close. He does actually go to the top side. Lanam's going to get popped actually before anything even gets to happen. Young Falcon doing exactly what he needed to do. At least wiping off one chess piece off this board. Yeah, you have, to, you have to be careful. This is a really rough spot, actually, right now for St. Clair. If they do focus on the mid turret not going down, they're probably going to lose that top inhibitor because I do not think that Lord Touch Me can defend that by himself with Akali being as powerful as he is right now. And it, just straight up forcing the ultimate from Lord Touch Me to go to waste. So very nicely done there from Akali and the rest of Ontario Tech University as that it ends up being all the turrets falling because Darius down on bot lane took it out as well. Everything is falling right now for St. Clair. Apex is down, but we're going to trade it out for Akali with the uh, the Young Falcon at least getting the shutdown gold onto that. But it may very well be too little too late. That is three inhibitors down. And you're basically playing minion horde mode at this point where you're just wiping off hordes and hordes of minions. Come in to destroy your Nexus turrets. Especially now that they have those, uh, the Baron buff. And Akutaiken going to be first to get engaged on, and Atiz is going to be able to focus him down very quickly. Ontario Tech just doing exactly what this comp needs to do with these single picks. Apex also getting a little hook for himself, but with a tease just in the back line shredding everybody, it is going to be brutal. One dunk, oh, or one dunk down. We're going to see probably another in a second, and just shredding through all the members of St. Clair, and just that quadro kill essentially just sealing the deal on this match. GG, Ontario Tech University going to take game number one of this best of three series. Yeah, so for what seemed like a pretty innocent start to this game, for the most part, just turned into a massive snowball fest in the mid-game for Ontario Tech University. We see 14 kills from Matisse alone. And then Moffat staying completely flawless. May not have been the one getting all the kills, but it was always involved one way or another with the three kills and 13 assists. Same with Lanam, actually. He may have been the one kind of diving in, just getting smoked and getting taken out but because of the plays that they were making it was just setting up everybody else for so many kills meanwhile on the st Clair side kills are pretty spread out pretty much across the board nobody really got the chance to take off the closest thing we did see i think was a few moments of uh variance from young falcon but there was a lot of uh rough opportunities there for St. Clair whether they were just getting picked off before the fight started or they jumped in when everybody wasn't quite ready which is easy to, to do especially for say Jarvan or Poppy in this case where you're diving in and by the time your team follows up they're just straight up not there ready for you so we're going to take a very brief break as we do await the beginning of game number two of the series let's hope we can see St. Clair Pull, pull it back together here for game number two because that one was a little rough after that's that 15 minute mark or so be on our about a five